Hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, how are you today? I am just fine, just fine. Thank you, mister. See, I got Sonia, I got Hugo, Vladimir, Evelyn, and Karen. Good evening. Good evening, good evening to all of you. So, how are you guys? Vladimir, how's everything? Uh, well, that's okay. All good. All good? Okay, tell yeah. me, how was your day, Vladimir? Yeah, terrible. Terrible? I got a lot of, yeah, I got a lot of work. Oh, really? Yes, tomorrow is going to start a new system for the old banks, commercial banks. Oh, so you are you migrating information from one system to the other one? Uh, yeah, it's a new developer for the, the old system to the new system. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's... Tomorrow, tomorrow will be the... The zero day, zero day. Uh, that's always tricky because you don't know if all the things, all the situations are going to fit in well. Synchronizing yes. is kind of complex. Yeah, always happen. Uh, like, do you say in Spanish, la ley de Murphy? Yeah, by Murphy's law. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. According to that, uh, when there are too many possibilities of the most likely, the most possible, no, the most likely possible, it's going to happen. Yes. Yes, it is. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, I remember Morphe's laws, man. That's <laughs> God terrible. <bless> me. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. You remember about that law whenever you are driving and you, uh, and you are in a traffic jam? The other line is moving on. If you cross, then yours stop and the other one starts moving. Yes, yeah, so I will happy the same when I when I drive. Uh, that's Murphy's law. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Well, you gotta be patient, yeah, when you are migrating. Are you migrating server or just the system? Just the system. Well, oh, because uh, all my partners buys new servers and another um, how do you say empresa a company another company a equatorian company develops the system okay so it's going to be interesting yes yes it is it's uh, good for work at central bank yeah it's always good whenever you get to learn how to apply and how to get new knowledge and how to apply it is always good. Yes. But still, you got to be careful. Hey, Vladimir, help me out. Which I'm going to try on my microphones. Tell me, how do you hear me with this one? Uh, good. Oh. Can you hear me now? Se perdió la señal o solo soy yo? Se perdió. Can you hear me now? No. No se le escucha. A little slowly. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a second. Teacher, no se le escucha. Hello, teacher. We didn't hear you. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Sorry, we don't don't hear you. What about now? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay, it's a problem of the signal. It's kind of unstable. Just give me a second. <laughs>
okay, okay. What about now? Are we okay? Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay, I was trying yes. microphone. Okay. We tried the second microphone and everything was okay. But I guess my signal is giving problems. Just give me a second. Okay, okay. I'm going to do this. Okay. Perfect. Okay, well, let's hope everything goes okay. It's just that I'm, I think I'm having problems with the hard drive right now. So let's see. Thank you, Vladimir. That's okay. Very good information. Now, Sonia Mabel, hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine, that's great, that's great. Excellent. How was your day, Sonia? Good. I'm working in house. I'm sorry. Tell me. Tell me again. Good. My day. Good. I'm working in house. At home. I am ah, working home. at home or ah, from I'm... or from my house. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's good and bad. Mm. I think we work more time when we are like that. What? I think we work even more. Siento que uno trabaja más. Yeah, total. <laughs> um, what do you say? Solo esta semana. Only this week. Okay. How do you say? Uh -huh. How do you say? You How told me, you say? what do you say? How do... How do you say? say? Okay. Uh, how just, do you say? just this week. Week, okay. Just this week. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, anyway, we have to make do. Hasta hemos de ver como le hacemos, no? Yeah. Uh, that's normal with with jobs. It's good to stay at home, but it's uh, complex, mm. very complex. Yeah. Let's see who else do I have here. Thank you very much, Sonia. Okay. Karen, hello, how are you? Hi. No problems with the platform no more? You could access everything fine? Fine, fine. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And tell me, how was your day, Karen? Uh, de nuevo, bueno. Again? Moving. Again, very moving. Oh, really? Why? What did you do? Uh, demasiadas cosas que hacer. Many things to do. Many? Many things to do. Many things to do. Yep. Okay. Gracias. Thanks. Okay, so you have a you have a lot of work today. Tuvo mucho trabajo este día. Demasiado. Okay. Oh, in this case is different. What you say is too much. Too much. Yes, too much. That's demasiado. Too because Thanks. we say we say a lot when we say a lot we are saying mucho but when we say too much we are saying demasiado okay a lot is mucho y too much demasiado yep okay okay very Notado. gracias no problem, no problem. Well, yeah, that's normal, that's normal, you know. And we are in the middle of the week. I mean, for me, Wednesday is the longest day. Thursday for me is vegetable. Friday for me is short. But... Toda la semana es... Heavy. No se siente. <laughs> sí. uh, well, 
it's actually good when you have many different activities. Realmente bueno cuando tenemos muchas actividades because you keep busy. Uno se mantiene ocupado. And if you keep busy, I mean, you don't feel the pass of time. Sí, porque el mes no lo he sentido. Oh, that's great. Uh, and even though January is, uh, January is a little bit complex. Enero es un poquito complicado. Well, okay. thank you, Karen. Thanks. Let's see, let's see who else is around. Hugo, good evening. How are you, Hugo? Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, tell me, how was your day? Uh, good, okay. very good. What about uh, in your job? Many activities, regular, easy day, easy, facile, difficult? Uh, yeah. Regular. Regular, the regular. same routine. Yes. Uh, routines are like that. Now we have uh, things to do as every day. Let's see, let's see. Thank you very much, Hugo. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. How are you? Hello. How are you tonight? Uh, good night. How busy are you day. Tonight? A busy day. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's life, no? Así nos toca. Yes. That's life. That's life. But we have to make do. Tenemos que, we say in Spanish something like, uh, ver como le hacemos. O adaptarnos. That's, we have to make do. Do not try to translate that because it doesn't make sense. No traten de traducir esa expresión porque no tiene sentido. At all. Just believe me that when we say we have to make do, we're saying, tenemos que ver cómo le hacemos. To adapt. Okay, that's a modism. Okay, to modism. Yeah, that's the way it is. Well, thank you, Vanessa. Ivania, okay. hello, Ivania. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you tonight? Tell me. I'm Good fine. Evening. Good evening. Okay. What about you? How was your day? Mm, excellent day. Okay. What did you do today? No mm, much. No much or? No, too much. Too much. Okay. Too many activities. Mm -hmm. Yes. Interesting. Could you tell mm -hmm. me some of your regular activities? Some of your daily activities. What do you do on a regular day? ¿Qué hacen un día normal? Mm, coordinar, coordinar este despachos, dispatch. Okay. Yes. Really? Yes. And is that difficult, easy, complex? Um, easy. Easy. Yes. Okay, that's good, that's good. That means that, okay, hold on. Somebody's having a problem. The host has another meeting in progress. Wow, I just have this, right? Somebody's trying to connect. Let's see, give me just a second. Uh, I don't know, that's, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alguien le colocó ya ahí el, el enlace, ¿verdad? Let's see if they can connect. Well, yeah, you know, routines are like that. Let's see who else is around. Thank you, Vania. Thank you very much. Edwin, hello, Edwin. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, uh, sir. How are you? Uh, it's fine. Uh, and you? I'm just great here. No. A heavy day, but it has passed flying by. Okay. And my uh, free day? Today is your day off? The, oh, cool. Yes. That's nice. Yeah. Today is your day off. Off, day off. 
Okay. And that means that the, during the week, it's your so. free day, yes. Your day off. Oh, really? That's nice. Tell me, what do you usually do on, a, on your day off? ¿Qué hace normalmente on your day off? Eh, warehouse. Okay. Creo que, words, de trabajo en casa. Okay, eh, okay. Tareas en casa. Ah, okay. That's this, what you mean is house chores. House chores. Yeah. Look in the chat. House chores. Look in the chat. Yes. That expression house chores. everything you do around the house. Mm -hmm. Like cleaning, uh, perhaps the laundry, or perhaps uh, dusting stuff. Yeah. Passing the broom or the mop. Okay. All those are chores. Uh, here in in Salvadorian, we say oficio. Oficio. <laughs> yeah. And when you make like a, like some repairs in your house, you can say that you work around the house. This is these are monks. These expressions do not make sense. What look at that. You? Look. Yes. This is. Expressions do not make sense. Estas expresiones no tendrían sentido si usted trata de traducirlo. So don't try. Así que no trate. But work around the house means well, that uh, perhaps you need to to clean the, the, the dogs, the water dogs. Quizás usted necesite limpiar los canales. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or perhaps you need to to wash the the, 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 the bath. Okay, to clean the bathroom, or perhaps you need to fix something on electricity, or change a bulb, okay, or a lamp. Those are, when you do those activities, you work around the house, okay? Okay. As I told you before, guys, do not try to translate it. No traten de traducirlo. It will not make sense. No les tendrá sentido. Because if you translate it, it means a... Uh, Trabajar alrededor de la casa. It doesn't make sense, no? <laughs> but that's what you do. You know, there's another expression, like sometimes when we have our day off, you know, sometimes uh, we don't stay in the house. We need to go to the bank, perhaps, or we need to go to pay the bills, right? Mm. In, yeah. in that case, what we do is, uh, run errands. That expression means, uh, again, in Salvadorian, to run some errands means hacer mandado. That's the way we say it. Okay? Okay. So you tell me, oh, no, on my day off, I, I run some errands. That means that you go perhaps to pay the bills, uh, if you have a car, perhaps you take the car to the workshop or the motorcycle. You see, when you go out and do, or perhaps you go to the market to buy the food for the week, that's to run some errands. Okay? Hey, okay. thank you. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> it's good when we get new vocabulary. Bueno, cuando tenemos <laughs> nuevo vocabulario. Thank you, Edwin. Let's see who else Thanks. is here. Who else is here? I got still a little bit of time. Susana. Hello, Susana. How are you? Hello. Fine. Entre tarde, lo siento. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Busy, busy. Busy. Ah, busy. Yeah, busy, <laughs> okay. busy. Very busy. Yeah, I was like, yes. where's Susana? You know, I was like cracking my knuckles. Where's Susana? But now I have Susana here. It's good to have you here. So, how was your day? Tell me. Oh, really? What time did you leave your job? ¿A qué hora salió? Seven. Seven. At seven. At seven. ¿Y los minutos? I don't know. How many? ¿Cuántos? At seven. Twelve. Okay. Twelve. At seven. Twelve. Past seven. Okay. Twelve. Past seven. Past seven. 
Okay, okay. that expression, okay. remember, that word is 12. Mm -hmm. You pronounce it as F, 12. 12 past 7. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's see, excellent. let's see, let's see. Ya tome nota, sí. Good, excellent, excellent. Everybody's taking notes. Thank you very much, Susana. Let's see, Walter. Hello, Walter. How are you, Walter Alexander? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? How was your day? Mm, my day was very easy. Easy day? Wow, that's cool. What did you do today? Mm, I write checks. Okay. I pay bills. Pay, pay bills. Pay bills. Okay. Uh, that's set. That's that's the set. routine, the routine. La routine. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Cool. Uh, that's good. Yes, yeah, sometimes works tend to be like that. You know, in my case, it's different because I always, every day I have to face different things, different people. So in my case, my routine is a little bit different. Thank you very much, Walter. Let's see right. who else is around, who wants to talk today. Let's see, Mr. Walter Ruiz. Hello, good evening, Walter. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Mm, fine. Fine, how was your day, Walter? A busy day. A busy day? Really? Yes. yes. Tell me, what do you usually do in your job? I work in a truck. Oh, really? Do you drive? Yes. No, in Sal, a GPS. Oh, GPS but you Sal. have to go from place to place? Mm, yes. Okay. And it must be tiring. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's cool because, I mean, you go out, or you do something different. To be sitting in the same spot sometimes is boring. Estar solo en el mismo lugar but boring. my other um, activities is was um, retrasar. Delay? Me retrasa. Oh, they take time. Consumen tiempo. What? Consumen tiempo. They take time. No se escucha. No se escucha. Again. Those activities take time, right? I think we're having problems with the connection. Okay. Can you hear me? Más o menos. Sort of in a way. Oh my gosh. Let's see, let's see, yeah. let's see. Oh, you see? What about now? Yes. Oh, ya no. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, it's yes. good. I got three different microphones. So right now I, I'm using one that is in front of me. Okay, let's see. So, well, thank you very much, Walter. Now, let's see, let's see. Uh, Indiana Obando, hello, good evening. I think she doesn't listen to me. What about, what about you, Mauricio? I'm fine. How was your day, Mauricio? My day was busy, but entertaining. Oh, really? Tell me, what did you do today? I have to ask my suppliers for support to Supplier. deliver Supplier. something. Supplier. Suppliers, supplier, supplier, proveedores. Yes. Okay, suppliers for support to deliver something request. Some request. Okay, that's interesting. Well, so you have 
different activities during the day. What time did you finish working today? ¿Cómo, perdón? Repeat, please. What time, what time did you finish working today? Okay. Um, at five, like five, no, see, five, um, five, 30? 30, 30, 30, 30. 5.30. Okay. So, and at what time did you get home today? Um, uh, 6, 6, 50. 6, or 30, 30. 30 past six. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. Perfect. No, you have to say 5.30. 5.30 is okay. Oh, okay. If you say 5.30, that's okay. Let's see. Did I miss someone? Is that my problem? No. My screen changes. Well, let's see. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Tengo una consulta. Yes, tell me, Susana. En cuanto a la hora. Yes. ¿En qué caso se puede usar la referencia anterior? ¿De decir los minutos y luego la hora? ¿O decir al inicio la hora y los minutos? ¿Es cuestión de gusto? No necessarily. Okay, look. Uh, you say... You say five, five, twenty-five. It's okay. You say five ten, five fifteen, or you can say twenty-five past five, twelve past five. When you say twelve past five, you are saying eh, pasan doce de las cinco. Okay, perhaps here in Spanish we don't use that that much, but we use it the other way. Pero si usamos el otro, eh, we say eh, 25 before 6. That means that it's 5.35. You see? 5.35, you can say 5.35 or you can say 25 before 6. En este caso estamos diciendo faltan 25 a las 6. Or you can say it's 535. It mostly depends on the way you speak. Más que todo depende en la manera como usted habla. Okay? The ones that are like mandatory is like uh, 12. 12. 12 are two different. Okay? When we say 12, there are two differences. The first one is a noon, that's mediodía, 12 at noon, or you say 12 at midnight. Is that clear for you now, Susana? ¿Sí me entendió? Okay, perfect. Well, guys, let's see. Before we continue, let me get the, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me get the attendance. So we can get rid of this step right now. Today is the 27th. Okay, let's see. Vladimir Antonio Martinez. Present. Thank you. Antonia Elizabeth Mendez de Altamirano. You see? No? No here. Okie dokie. And Amparo Yajaira Melendez de Molina? Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora? Present. Thank you. Walter Josue Ruiz Ayala? Present. Thank you. Karen Alejandra Flores Lopez? Present. Thank you. 
Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Ok, Yanira del Carmen Paz. Um, no here. Okie dokie. Eh, Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Sonia, thank you. Walter Emerson Picha Delgado. No here. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Indiana de Jesús Obando Lozano. Good night, teacher. Present. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Susana, Susana Carolina Hernández. Okay, Susana, where's Susana? Oh, there's Susana. Present. Present. Thank you. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Present. Thank you. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Thank you, Sandra. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Yeah. Present teacher. Thank you. Indiana Maria Doña Estrada. And Walter Alexander Arana Cortez. Present. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Well, let's see. Today we are going to do different activities and we are going to start right now working. The first activity for today is working as a group. La primera actividad vamos a trabajar como grupos, okay? What are you going to do? Okay. Did you notice that between uh, the activities, between the questions, among the questions I was asking you at the beginning, se dieron cuenta que entre las preguntas que les hice al inicio, uh, I was like trying to find out your daily activities. Se fijaron que yo estaba buscando sus actividades diarias. Algunos de ustedes les pregunté, what do you do on a regular basis? What do you do on, during the day? What are your activities? Okay, that's one of the questions that you are going to make to your classmates, okay? You're going to ask your classmates three different questions. Where are those questions? Very simple. Those questions appear, let me just put this like this. These questions appear right here. Look, the questions we are talking about are these ones. You have to ask a classmate, okay? What is your name? Where do you work? What do you do at the company? Okay. Now, do you have any question regarding the those questions? Do we understand them? Entendemos las preguntas? Yes. Okay. Let's see then. Remember, Teacher. you are going to ask your classmate. What is your name? Yes. Tell me. Teacher, uh, can you please repeat, please? What is your name? Where do you work? What do you do at the company? Those are the questions you are going to make your classmates. Estas son las tres preguntas que le van a hacer a sus compañeros. ¿Cuál es su okay. nombre? Thank ¿Dónde you. trabaja? ¿Qué hace en la compañía? Okay. Now. Thank you. I just send them to the group. Se las envío al grupo. Now. Something very important. You are going to have five minutes to do the exercise. Something very important is for you to take notes. Because remember, I am not going to ask you about yourself. I'm going to ask you about your classmates. Yo le voy a preguntar de su compañero. Okay? Yes? Okay, now let's see. Just let me check something here. Right here. Perfect. Excellent. So, you ready? No more questions? No more doubts? No? Perfect. I'm going to create the rooms. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six rooms. 
Okay, guys, you go to the rooms right now. The rooms are created. You all got the invitation to join in, please. Sandra, can you get into the group? Let's go check. No. Start. Eso es como me fue a mí en mi qué actividades hago. What did you do? Uh -huh. ¿Qué hace en, para su compañía? What's your name? Uh, uh, Walter Arana. Okay. Um, Sonia? Uh, what? What's your name? What is your name? My name is Sonia Lazo. Um, where do you work? I work in GEA. GEA. Este, les pregunto yo, eh, Indiana o Guadalupe. Escoja cualquiera. Indiana. Vaya. <risa> Vaya. Gu Guadalupe. Indiana, pues. Vaya. What is your name? My name is Indiana Obando. Eh, where do you work? I work. I work. Um, legal assisting. Legal assisting. Legal assisting. Yes. Legal. 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 Okay. Legal assisting. assisting. Legal. Uh, what do you do at the company? Um, my work is um, um ah, yes. Yes. research information for conciliatory no conciliatory también actividades aquí en las, en las preguntas no aparece eh. What, Karen? Ahorita que está ahí, ahorita que está ahí. Hey, que sí. Aparece. <risa> Las actividades. Dice, okay. what do you do at the company? O sea, es Dijo, dos actividades, ¿verdad? Yes. Dos actividades activities. también. Ah, ok. Ok. okay. Las actividades. Uh -huh. Ok. Sería, eh, mm -hmm. es Susana. Yo, es tú, o actividades. Okay. I'm making voice. Mm -hmm. Primero, eh, ¿cuál sería tu cargo en, en la compañía? Se llama ser, a service seller. Service seller. Sí. En español, vendo servicios. No de baño, servicios de manufactura. <risa> okay. Manufacturing services. Sí. Manufacturing I, sell, services. I sell manufacturing services. Ok. Ok, ok. Entonces sería manufacturing service. service. Manufacturing. 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 Perfect. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. 
service. Service. I make voice and I make. Sí, ahí ustedes han de que pasar memes divertidos de eso. <laughs> Pero bueno. Finish, guys. Yes. Hello. Yes. I'm just kidding Finish. with Mauricio. Okay, cool, cool. Sí. I'm just going to go check another group and then we are going to finish, okay? Whatever, I want to say the thing. He is. In the case of the presentation, but. Uh huh, Seria, he performs and flow control and prepare report. Uh huh. Send mail. Send email. 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 Usted me va a preguntar a mí con respecto a ella o vamos yep, a ir exactly. a ella. Uh -huh. No, 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 no. I am going to ask you about her. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Perfect. Entonces, so, we, okay. are, we are going to finish in 60 seconds. Ok. Ok. Teacher, aprovechando una consulta. Yes, tell me. Eh, ahí le escribí yo eh, en el WhatsApp por el tema de la lista, que siempre no me menciona a mí en la primera parte. Yes, I am, uh, I am asking for them to fix it. Estoy esperando que me lo arreglen, because I am not authorized to modify the, the names. No estoy autorizado ah, okay. a modificar los nombres. But, Pero sí, en este but, caso aparece mi registro diario, ¿verdad? As long as you tell me and it's recorded here y queda aquí grabado. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, guys. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's just wait for your classmates to come back. Solo esperemos por los compañeros. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, Vladimir, can you tell me about Mauricio's activity? What does he yes. do? Okay, well, his name, his, his name is Mauricio Quintanilla. He works at the SAC, Distributor okay. Zacarias. And he does purchasing coordinator. Okay, he is, he is a purchasing okay. coordinator. Okay, he is a purchase, pur, well, repeat again, please. Purchasing coordinator. Okay, he is a purchasing coordinator. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Mauricio, tell me about Vladimir. Repeat, please. Tell me about Vladimir activities, please. Ah, okay. Eh, se había escuchado entrecortado, eh, lo, lo comento ahorita. Eh, his name Vladimir Martinez. He worked at BCR. He is cybersecurity specialist. Okay. Wow. Interesting. That's very interesting. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Now, Sonia, Mabel, please tell me about your partner, please. About one, one. And open the microphone, please, Sonia. Sonia. De cualquiera, ¿cierto? Yep. Yeah. Um, talk about uh, Walter Ruiz. 
Okay, tell me about him. He, he's uh, working CLT. Okay. And as um, monitoring, GPS monitoring. Okay, cool. And installation. And, okay. and root verification. Perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Just remember root, 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 root. Yes, like that. Okay. Perfect. Root. Root. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you very much. Ivania. Hello, Ivania. Tell me about one of your classmates, please. Hello, teacher. Um, his name Warevalo. Okay. Uh, I work and work and say he, let them. He, he works. He uh, he work and say let them. Okay. Um, se, en este caso sería para decir las actividades de él. His activity. His, his activity and flow control and prepare report. E and send emails. Perfect. Thank you very much, Ivania. Edwin, please tell me about your classmate. Hey, hey, my partner is Indiana Obando and Guadalupe Alfaro. Okay, pick one of them. Uh, Indiana Obando, she's working a legal, a legal assist. Ooh. Uh, oh. uh, preoccupation and legal monitor, monitoring. Okay. Now, in English, you can say a legal assistant or you can say a paralegal. Legal. Paralegal. Yeah, a paralegal is the is a legal assistant. She, she is paralegal. Yep. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Now let's see, let's see, let's see who's missing. Hugo. Tell me about one of your classmates. Hello, teacher. Please. Hello. Hello, tell me, tell me about one of your classmates. Dígame de uno de sus compañeros. First name Ivania. Okay. Eh, here's activity. Uh, Ivania work, work in CLT. Okay. Eh, here's activities. Eh, costume service. Okay. And logistic coordination and send email perfect thank you very much okay. excellent well done well done karen hello karen yeah hi tell me eh, um, yo estuve con susana ivane okay tell me about susana please okay eh, she's work laboratory pile Okay. Mm, Susana is a service seller. Okay. Mm, y cómo se dice realiza trabajos. She does. De? She does. She's she's does a manufacturer service. Okay. Y, and prepare of report. Okay, now look at me, Karen. Uh, Hail laboratory. Okay, remember in English, Hail you turn it around. Laboratory. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Thanks. Susana, you tell me about Vanessa. Okay. Hi. Uh, Vanessa works in the SAC. Okay. Uh, Vanessa is a cashier. Okay, she goes perfect. to service and she receives money. Oh, money, a money. That's money. cool. <laughs> oh, that's complex. <laughs> I don't like that. Thank you very much, Susana. Vanessa, you tell me about Karen, please. Hello. Hello. Uh, Karen, uh, Karen, she works in the SAC. Okay. At at, it, at the sí. It activity are um, her uh, activities. Help, help uh, this help agricultural permits. 
Agricultural. Permiso de agricultura. <laughs> sí. Ok, agricultural permission. Y solo eso, dijo. Ok. Oh, really? Karen. Solo dijo permiso de agricultura y salud. Ok. Shame no sabía you, cómo se decía um, registros sanitarios. Uh -huh. uh, that sanitary register. Sanitary register. Yeah, register, register. Register. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Now, let's see, Evelyn, have you participated yet? Good evening. Eh, estuvimos eh, con Walter Arana y Sandra Moreno, aunque Sandra tuvo problemas oh. de conexión, pero un poquito sí le vimos. Okay, do you remember about uh, Walter? Yes. Tell me about eh, Walter. Walter, Walter, um, Walter Arana is um, a countdown. An accountant? He, a countdown, he uh, work um, at buy bills and okay. make check and write check. Uh, is one to remember. Okay, that's what you remember. It's okay. Thank you very much. Walter, tell me, do you remember about Sandra? Do you remember something about Sandra? Hello. Hello. Uh, what about Evelyn and Sandra? Okay. What do you remember about Sandra? Tell me. Um, uh, she's activity. Her activity? Her activity is pay my own bills. Okay. Do she uh, helps to do reports. Okay. She helps to do report. 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 Okay. Report. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much, Walter. Sandra, do you remember about your classmates? Activities? Hi, teacher. Hi. What do you remember about your classmates' activities? Oops, I think Sandra is having Hola? connection problems. Yes, I can hear you. Le escucho. Repeat, please, teacher. What do you remember about your classmates' activities? ¿Qué recuerda de sus compañeros? De Evelyn Caballero, eh, she's... Ay, no me recuerdo qué dijo que era. Um, pero mencionaba que trabaja en control de calidad, quality control. Ok, quality control. Okay. Solo eso lo escuché. Eh, Walter... He is a content. Okay, perfect. Excellent. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Now let's see who do I have here? Who's missing? ¿Quién me falta? Okay, Dania. Roxana. What about you, Roxana? Here. Hello. Hello, Roxana. I can hear you. Yo la escucho. Okay. Um, Trabajé con Walter Ruiz y con Sonia Lazo. Ok, tell me about any of them. Dígame alguno de ellos. Ok, um, Walter Ruiz. Uh, his name is Walter Ruiz. His activity is uh, uh, work in CTL. Ok. His activity is... Um, uh, will you, no, do you verify Okay. Installation GPS. Okay. And GPS, GPS installation. GPS, uh, GPS installation. installation. Okay. Perfect. And GPS monitor. Okay, perfect. Um, Excellent. Sonia Lasso? Yes, tell me about Sonia. 
She's uh, name is Sonia Lasso. She her is name working. is her name is Sonia Lasso. Ah, okay. So her name is Sonia Lasso. Perfect. Uh, she works in Kia. Kia. Okay. Kia. Um, her activity is a uh, operation manager. Okay. Uh, supervision. Uh, go over. Go over. Okay. Go over. Perfect. And this is our flight. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Who's missing? Who's missing? Who's missing? Alguien me falta? Indiana, did you participate? Hay dos, ¿cuál de las dos? Up to you. Usted escoja. Yo trabajé con Guadalupe Alfaro y okay. Edwin Sevillano. Sevillano, okay, es. Um, okay, tell me about Guadalupe. I want to know about Guadalupe. Guadalupe is our legal monitor. Oh. Um, Yes. Legal monitor. What, what about the other person, your other classmate? Who was your other classmate? ¿Quién era el otro compañero, Indiana? Um, Edwin Sevillano. Okay, tell me about Edwin. He adds to work um, CLT company, GPS container monitor. Okay, good, excellent. Thank you very much, Indiana. Okay, let's see. Guadalupe, your turn. I think you are the last. Creo que usted es la última, Guadalupe. Good night. Okay, mm -hmm. tell me about Indiana. I want to know what does she do. Uh, I work at, with Edwin Sevillano and Indiana. Uh, okay. Tell me about Indiana. Indiana is a legal, legal assistant. And, legal. Or legal. Legal assistant. And she she works uh, research information for a conciliatory agreement. And, okay. Perfect. And at, attention calls. And okay. Mm. Attend calls, attend calls, or answer attend call. calls. Attend calls. Okay, perfect. So That's no. enough. That's enough. Okay, thank you very much. Now remember, she works, works. Okay. Now let's see. If you see, guys, it's. Uh, I'm sorry. I know that this activity right now you feel it like very long, but I actually need to hear all of you speaking and the idea is for me to realize so i can realize what's your level of pronunciation and what type of activities are better for you now today we are going to also do a small conversation from the manual but remember don't look at the manual right now just listen to me okay listen to me and today listen very carefully because it's very short the conversation the conversation is, a, is just between two persons. It's Anna and Carlos. Let's listen to the conversation. The conversation goes like this. Hello, I am Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna, I'm Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Uh, okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Listen again. Hello, I am, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. 
I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. One more time, listen again. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana, I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she Ms. Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I'm not. I'm a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, guys, now let's see. In this activity, it's going to be very simple. And I need you to please practice it first. La vamos a practicar primero. Uh, I know there are some doubts with vocabulary. Sé que hay algunas dudas con vocabulario. But I am going to solve them after the pronunciation. Después de que hagamos el ejercicio de pronunciación, voy a resolver las dudas, okay? Because I will take advantage of that time to explain something. Porque voy a tomar ventaja de ese momento para explicarles algo. I'm sorry to think in Spanish at the same time is confusing. Perdón, pero a veces pensar en español es un poquito confuso. Okay, so right now you are going to uh, do the exercise, practicing. You're going to have, it's very short, two minutes to practice in pairs, okay? You're going to be working in pairs just for two minutes. Then we come back here. I'm going to choose some of you, and then I'm going to explain something. Y luego le voy a explicar algo, okay? So, you ready, guys? Yes? Cool. Let me redo the groups. Okay, let's see. Perfect. Okay, jump in, please. You listen? I can listen to Hi, you, Evelyn. Evelyn. Can you activate your microphone? Oh, yes. yeah. Good night. And good evening, uh, good evening. Cuando decimos good night. Good evening. Um, Carmen, you can. Um, um Un minuto, no, un segundito, quiero abrir la, la conversación. I send it to the group, yo le envié al grupo. Ah, está en el grupo, perdón, no lo he visto. Hay una conversación. Ya. Yeah. Sí. All right. Ah, ahorita, lista. <coughs> Listo. Eh, tú, Carlos, Joana. Eh, hello, I am, hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Adam. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse me, is she Miss Diana Andrade? 
No, she is not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and um, are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. All right. Al, al revés. Okay. Ahora ustedes, ustedes, Ana. <laughs> ustedes, Carlos. Okay. Yes. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mistress Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, <coughs> I am not. I am a sales, sales person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. No listen. Una vez más, todavía mean? tienen 60 segundos. Okay. Excelente. Usted, Ana, y yo, Carlos. De nuevo. Más rápido. Perfecto. Okay, we are going to wait for your classmates to come back. See, everybody's coming. Let's see, let's see, let's see. They still got 30 seconds. So let's see who is going to start. Okay, the first group is going to be Mauricio and Vladimir. You're okay. the first? Yes. yes, do it. Okay. Um, I am Carlos. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Boy, eh, que se me hizo. Page 13. This is okay, okay, okay. Uh, You're Anna. Hello, I am Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. She is Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the, supervi the supervisor? No, I am not. I am salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay. Okay, perfect. Just remember, Mauricio, is she? When making a question, is is she? And during the conversation, you say she is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Gracias. Yes. Tell me, Vladimir. Uh, uh, just a question with the pronunciation of Mrs. Diana Aguilar. Is right. Oh. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to explain it later. Okay. Parte de la explicación que le voy a dar en un momentito, okay? Okay. But sorry. You got, you got Miss, you got Mrs. and Mister in this case, okay? You got Miss, Mrs. and Mister, okay? Mrs. M R S. M R S. Miss. Okay. The other one just M S that miss miss. Okay. I will explain in detail later. Les explico en detalle en unos minutos. Okay. Right now, let's see Hugo and Karen. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, sería Ana, no? Yes, you are. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm Anna Trujillo. Hi, Anna. 
I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she's not. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. Supervisor. I am the person. Super, supervisor. Okay. No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, very well. Well done. Excellent. Uh, now, Guadalupe and Sonia, please. Um, hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mrs. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you supervisor? No, I am not. I am a um, salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, very well. Salesperson, salesperson. Salesperson. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now let's see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ivania and Roxana. Ivania, you are you start. Roxana. Yes. Okay. Siempre usted Ana y yo Carlos. Okay, no problem. Okay. okay. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Anna. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? Su supervisor? No, I am not. I am a person. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. I'm sorry. Very well, excellent. Well done. Just remember, Mrs. Mrs. Okay. But don't worry, I will explain that. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, now let's see that was, uh, okay, now comes Susanna and Walter, please. Okay. Susanna, Ready, Walter? Walter. Yes. Okay. Ruiz. Ruiz. Walter Ruiz. Ruiz. Walter Ruiz, I'm okay. sorry. Okay, yes. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Mrs. Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay. And are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am, not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, very well done. Remember, salesperson, salesperson. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next one, it's going to be, that was Susanna and Walter, Indiana Obando and Vanessa Quintanilla, please. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We need to advance. Hello, teacher. Eh, you start. Yo no, no pude con Indiana porque no se, no, o sea, no se conectó y no, no pudimos hacer el ejercicio. Okay. 
Indiana, can you do it right here? Lo siento, teacher, me cayó una llamada del trabajo y no, no okay. pude. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Vanessa, you are going to start, I'm going to project it here and you can do it right now, okay? So, Vanessa in Indiana, let's do it. Vanessa, you are Ana, Indiana, you are Carlos. Okay. Hello, I am Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she Mr. Diana Andrade? No, she is not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and you are you are the super, supervisor? No, I am not. I am Sally personal. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Perfect. Very well done. Gee, guys, you're very good, very good. Now let's see. Uh, oops, I'm sorry, my bad. Now let's see, let's see. I think next one is Elwin, right? Yes, right. Elwin and Sandra. Sandra. Okay. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I'm Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me. Is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she isn't. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and, and are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am a salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, very well. Thank you. Excellent. I think last ones are Walter and Evelyn, right? Walter Alexander Arana. All right. Okay, right. please, let's start. Uh, Evelyn, you start. Yes. Hello, I'm Ana Trujillo. Hi, Ana. I am Mr. Carlos Lopez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Excuse me, is she Miss Diana Andrade? No, she is not. She is Mr. Diana Aguilar. She is the manager of the company. Okay, and are you the supervisor? No, I am not. I am salesperson. Thank you so much, Mr. Lopez. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I need to do something. Very well done. Thank you. Just give me a second. Okay, I'm going to go old school. Vamos a hacer algo a la vieja escuela because I need you to see me at the same time that I am writing, okay? Necesito que me vean al mismo tiempo que les escribo algo. So it's going to be, uh, we are going to use the board. That's why I told you we are going to go old school right now. Perdón que no vamos a utilizar el recurso electrónico, pero I need you to watch me while I am doing something. Okay, guys, we have... Mr. Mr. is for male. We have Miss. Miss is for female. Single. We have Mrs. That is for female. Married. And we have Miss. That is for female but we don't know. Okay, and this exercise is exactly for that. Let's see. Can you see it? Can you see the first? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, now look. Look in here. We have for here first, Mr. Mr. is for male. Mr. se utiliza para hombres. 
Okay. Then we have Miss. Miss is for female, para mujer. Single. Do you know what is single? Soltera. Soltera. Okay. Then we have Mrs. Mrs. is also for female, but Meryl. Okay. Remember, this is Mrs. Mrs. Remember, Mr. Miss. Mrs. Okay. Now we have Miss. Miss. This one right here is different. Read, this one is for female, but we do not know if the female is single or married. We do not know. Okay? Oh, I'm sorry, but I needed you to see it like this, and I needed to be pointing out. Remember, Mr. is for male. Miss, female, single. Mrs. Okay, oh, right here. Mrs is for female but Mary. And Miss is for female but we don't know. En el caso del último, Miss es para una mujer but we do not know, no sabemos if she's single or Mary. Okay? So imagine that I, uh, let's see who, 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 who. Karen, Karen is very young. Karen se mira chiquita por ahí. So Karen, tell me. Uh, uh, imagine that I am introducing myself to Karen and I'm like, uh, hello, my name is Douglas Arevalo and she tell me, hi, my name is Karen Flores, right? Okay. Hey. And I ask her, oh, then you are Miss Flores? Cuando hago esa pregunta, cuando le digo, are you Miss Flores? Realmente estoy abriendo la pauta para que ella me explique y ella me diga, oh, it's Miss Flores, or it's Mrs. Flores. So tell me, Karen, are you Miss Flores? I'm Mrs. No, Mrs. perdón, Miss. Oh, really? You're Muriel? You no, 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 Miss. No, Miss. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Miss, she is single. Let's see, who of the ladies here is Muriel? Who's Muriel? Eh, oh, let's see, yo tenía alguien que vi por aquí con el apellido de Casada. Who was that? Who was, who was, who was? ¿Quién de ustedes, ladies, tengo aquí con el apellido de Casada? Uh, let me check. No, no, no. Pero... Evelyn, where's Evelyn? Evelyn, Evelyn, Evelyn. In the case of Evelyn, Hello. your name is, your name is, your full name, please, Evelyn. Last name. Your full name. Su nombre completo. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Okay. Now, we have another problem. And this one I can explain this. She is Mrs. Molina. Okay? Ella es Mrs. Molina. Something for everybody to remember. Algo que todos debemos recordar. The title... El, uh, I don't know how they call it in Spanish. No sé cómo le dicen en español. But the title, that little word, el título sería, esa palabra, señor, señora, señorita, that's a title in English, okay? The title applies in English with the full name, con el nombre completo, or with the last name, o con el apellido. Never with the first name, okay? Mm -hmm. So like Mauricio, he is Mauricio Quintanilla, okay? He is Mauricio Quintanilla or he is Mr. Mauricio Quintanilla or he is Mr. Quintanilla. But he is not Mr. Mauricio. That is not correct, okay? Always remember ¿Cómo se utilizaría that. entonces el primer nombre? A eso se refiere. El título lo utilizamos con el nombre completo o con el apellido. Nunca solo con el primer nombre. Y en el caso de las casadas, ¿cómo se les dice? Las que llevan Mrs. el D. Mrs. Y se le dice el apellido antes de. 
Ok, I will explain that and I will go to the board. Ahora me voy a ir a la pizarra electrónica. Ok, so you can see it while I am writing it. It's very interesting, this topic. Ok, let me share it with you. Let's see. The whiteboard, ok. Teacher, the problem is that we think in Spanish. In Spanish, yes. or people told yes, you... We use the first Don name. Douglas. Yes. For example, Don Douglas, Don Vladimir. Ok, Vladimir. and we are, no. we are going to use my name, Douglas Rodolfo Arevalo Amaya. Ok, it goes like this. And in my case, it's like this. This is my full name, but this, let's remember, this is first name. Okay, Douglas is my first name. Okay, let's do it like this is better, first name. In the case of Rodolfo, this is my middle this is my middle name okay then we get to arevalo and arevalo is my last name okay and amaya it's my mother's name okay so we have douglas rodolfo arevalo amaya Douglas is my first name, Rodolfo is my middle name, Arevalo is my last name, and Amaya is my mother's name. Okay, something that you need to remember is this. In English, usually you use the first and the last. In English, normalmente utilizamos el primer nombre y el apellido que viene por el padre. That's the last name. Mother's name in English disappears. In English, desaparece. Okay? So in English, we don't use this. Vamos bien hasta ahí? Remember. Yes. So that means that in English, my name is Douglas. Well, actually, in English, my name is Douglas Areval. As simple as this. Okay? First name and last name. That's it. Eso es todo. That's my name in English. Because we just use the first name and the last name. Now, something that we must remember is this. I am Mr. Siempre lleva ese puntito. I am Mr. Douglas Arevalo. Okay? I am Mr. Arevalo. But I am not Mr. Douglas, this is not correct. Okay? In the case of this, Mr. Douglas, this is not correct. Okay? It doesn't exist. Eso no existe. Now, uh, who was the lady who was married? ¿Quién era la señora acá que tengo que tomé de ejemplo? Was it Yanira? Yes? Evelyn. Evelyn. Okay. Give me your full name again, please. Dígame su nombre completo, por favor. Evelyn. Evelyn. Yes. I'm sorry? Caballero. Patricia. Your middle name? Patricia. Evelyn. Patricia. Caballero, Caballero. de Molina. Caballero. De Molina. De Molina. Ok. Now, this is complex in English. Esto es un poquito diferente en inglés. Ok. In English, in the United States, you can actually choose. En Estados Unidos usted puede escoger. Well, now you can do it here. Ahora lo puede escoger aquí también. If you take... Sí, hey, acá también you, pueden escoger si yeah. llevan el D o no. Yeah, you can do it now. Before you couldn't. Antes no se podía, now you can do it. Ahora ya se puede. Ok, now, in this case, miss, this is, the order goes like this. This is first name, ok? 
first name. This is a middle name. This is maiden's maiden's name. Like in Iron Maiden. Maiden's name. Okay? And this is the last name. Okay? This is first name, middle name, maiden's name, and last name. Primer nombre, el de medio que mm, no todo el mundo lo usa. There are some people who don't use it. Hay personas que no lo utilizan. I mean, in English, in the United States, it's weird. I mean, you don't find people, a lot of people with middle name. No encuentran tantas personas que tengan este. Okay? Usually people just have first and last. Maiden's name, esto es decir, el apellido de soltera. Maiden's actually means doncella, but this is apellido de soltera. And your last name will be Molina. But it changes again. You will see why. Because your name in English is, you are Mrs. Evelyn Molina. Okay? That's your name in English. Mrs. Evelyn Molina. Just like this. Questions? Preguntas? Este es el nombre de ella allá en inglés. Mrs. Evelyn Molina. Okay? Because this here, eh, I'm sorry, this here in English disappears. Okay? Me he explicado? Yes. Yes? Okay. Do you want this information in the group? Yes. Okay. Okay, I yes. will take the picture. Just give me a second. I will take the picture for you. Okay. Okay, I'll go. I'll get to there. I'll get to there. Llego a eso. Okay, now let's see. Okay, guys. Now, remember. Just let me get rid of this. And I'm back. What well, I'm not? Yes, I am. Okay, remember. Mr. 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 Okay. Now. Señorita. Miss. Miss Karen Flores. Okay. Señora. Mrs. Evelyn Molina. Mrs. Evelyn Molina. Y el otro, cuando no sabemos, que sería el equivalente a decir, mm, señor. Okay. That's Miss. 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 Solo la M y la S. Miss. Ok. Mr. Miss. Mrs. Miss. Yes, Mauricio, tell me. En la presentación que estábamos viendo cuando estábamos haciendo la conversación, se presentaban como Mr. Pero nosotros yes. no. Nosotros nos presentamos como I am a Mauricio Quintanilla. ¿Es yes. necesario poner Mr. o no? Not necessarily because some people present. It depends on mostly with whom you are talking to. And that's something that you must be uh, aware of. Actually, Americans, they, are, they tend to be very informal. Realmente, este, los estadounidenses, cuando usted los trató una o dos veces, tienen una manera rara de expresarse. Because they tend to be pretty informal. Tienden a ser muy informales. Usually, they refer to each other on a, on a first name basis. Normalmente se tratan uno al otro solo con un primer nombre. 
okay? But, I mean, if you are in a big company and if you are talking to your boss, si usted le habla a su jefe, you present, you introduce yourself and you talk to the boss, you introduce yourself just with your name. Introduce usted, se presenta solo con su nombre. But when you talk to them, you always say, Mr. Okay? Or Miss. Juan, or Mrs. Cuando es la jefa. Más adelante vamos a ver otra expresión que es, ma'am, ma'am. It appears in another conversation, a little bit forward. Más adelante vamos a ver esa otra expresión, ma'am. Esta se usa específicamente con una mujer que está en un puesto de autoridad por encima de nosotros. Man. Okay, so it's uh, kind of weird. But they, they tend to be a little bit informal. Ellos suelen ser bastante informales. Okay? They tend to be very informal, so they always refer to each other on a first name basis. But imagine that we are in a meeting. Imagínate que estamos en una reunión. Or perhaps you are like in a training. Está en un training. Usually on a training, they go like, hey, my name is Douglas Arevalo. What's your name? And you say, hey, my name is Mauricio. And I'm like, hi, Mauricio, how are you? Uh, you are new to the company or something like that. You see, it's first name basis. They are very informal. But usually the problem is that in our culture, in nuestra cultura, it's a little bit different because we tend to be more respectful. Nosotros tendemos a ser no más respetuosos. Formal, más formal, okay? But always remember, if you are talking to the boss, Mr., Mrs., Miss, okay? But you don't need to introduce yourself like that. Usted no necesita presentarse así, okay? Unless, a menos que, you want the other people to talk to you in a very formal way. A menos que usted quiera que las personas le hablen de esa manera muy formal. ¿Ok? Pero si usted se presenta con su jefe, you don't introduce yourself. Imagine that you are my boss. Imagínese que usted es mi jefe. And you say to me, uh, hi, my name is Mauricio Quintanilla. And I say, oh, hello, Mr. Quintanilla. I am Douglas Arevalo. Como usted es el jefe y usted se presentó y me dijo, I am Mauricio Quintanilla. Usted se presentó informal. But as you are the boss, I tell you. Oh, hello, Mr. Quintanilla. I am Douglas Arevalo. Yo me presento solo con el nombre completo. It's, it's a little bit complex, I know. Sé que es un poquito complejo, but remember, when you learn a language, you are not just learning the language. Recordemos que cuando aprendemos un idioma, no aprendemos solamente el idioma. We are also learning the culture. También estamos aprendiendo la cultura. Okay? And... American culture is different. Y la cultura de ellos es un poquito diferente. I mean, on a daily basis, they are very informal. En, en el quehacer diario, tienden a ser muy informales. Okay? In the way they talk to each other. I mean, there are cultures that are even more formal than ours. Hay culturas que son todavía más formales que la nuestra. Japanese culture is, they are pretty formal. Ellos son extremadamente formales. They are very um, puntillos, uh, puntillosos. I think that's the way you say it in Spanish. But they are very, very, they, they pay attention to those little details. In American English, no, you say, Mr. means if you want to be very formal. But if not, people are going to be just like you. Remember that in English, it doesn't exist the usted. In English, no existe el usted realmente. It's you. And you means usted al mismo tiempo que tú. What's the difference? Oh, the difference is if you use the mister. Hey, you are Mauricio Quintanilla. Informal. You are Mr. Mauricio Quintanilla. Formal. That's all the difference. The title, okay? Okay, gracias. Is that clear for you? No sé si quedó bien, igual o peor. I'm sorry. Is that clear? ¿Se entendió? So, so. <laughs> the rest of you guys, don't worry. Okay. We are going to be practicing. We are going to be practicing. Like, let's see. If Miss 
Rodriguez, Ms. Ivania Rodriguez. Tell me, are you Miss or Mrs.? No, mira, muchas gracias. Come on, Ivania. <laughs> Thinking about Mrs. Okay, then you are Mrs. Rodriguez. You see? Mrs. Rodriguez. Okay, but in this in this environment that we are right now, in este ambiente que estamos nosotros, it's a little bit uh, informal. It's un poquito informal. Why? Because at the beginning of the class, I set the pace informally. Al inicio de la clase, yo lo inicié de manera informal. Because, I mean, uh, how old are you, Vladimir? ¿Cuántos años tienes tú, Vladimir? 46 years old. 40? 6. 46 years old. Yeah. Por un poquito es mayor que yo. But I don't talk to him like, hey, Mr. Martinez. I talk to him like, hey, Vladimir. You see? It depends on how the person in charge of the situation sets the pace. Depende cómo la persona que está a cargo, que manda la situación, cómo disponga la persona que se lleve la relación, ¿ok? Like, hey, Vladimir, look, uh, this, is, this is Mauricio. So Vladimir goes like, hi, Mauricio. Hi, Mauricio. Hey, Mauricio goes like, hi, Vladimir. You see, very simple. It's hi, different Vladimir. if I tell. Es diferente si yo le digo, hey, Mr. Martinez, this is Mr. Quintanilla. Hello, oh, Mr. That, Quintanilla. You see, it's formal. Es la forma de presentación. Si me presentan como mister, yes. tengo que tratar como mister. Si me presentan como por mi nombre. Yep, you said it trato. clearer than me. Usted lo, usted lo dijo más claro que yo. Perfect, thank you. Okay, guys. I'm sorry if it took us a little bit of time, but it's important that you know those little details. Perdón si me tomó un poquito más de tiempo, pero es importante que ustedes conozcan esos detalles. Remember, we don't learn just the language, we learn the culture. Recordemos, no solamente aprendemos el lenguaje, sino también la cultura. Ok? And uh, as far as you keep on advancing on the classes, you're going to realize that, uh, I mean, we are the same, but we are different in some things. Van a dar cuenta que en muchas cosas somos muy parecidos y en muchas otras somos diferentes. In human relationships. It's like a personal space. Es como el espacio personal. I mean, uh, to an American, you don't get closer than one meter. A un americano usted no se le pone más cerca de una distancia de un metro. You are invading the space. Usted ya le está invadiendo su espacio personal. That person is going to feel uncomfortable with you. Esa persona se va a sentir incómoda. You have to keep a distance. Okay? Even if you are friends, aun si son amigos, you don't get that close. For them, that's aggressive. Para ellos eso es agresivo. And it's something that, I mean, we could say it's not big deal. Podríamos decir, no es la gran cosa, but those little details matter. Okay, let's continue. It's very good when we have those little doubts so we can clarify. But let's continue with part of the activity. We still got a lot to do. Now, let's see. Let me share with you something else. Okay. Now. Yes, no questions and short answers with the verb be. Okay. What do we have here? What we have here is this. Look. Yes, no questions. Are you Carlos? And we have short answer. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she a manager? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Or you can say, no, she's not. Is he a supervisor? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. No, he's not. Are you colleagues? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. No, we're not. Are they service providers? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. No, they're not. Are your bosses here? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. No, they're not. Now, these short answers, that's different. Estas respuestas cortas. In Spanish, we just say, en español solo decimos sí or no. Simple. In English, you are specific according to the question. 
En inglés somos específicos de acuerdo a la pregunta. Are you Carlos? Yes, I am. If it's affirmative. No, I'm not. If it's negative. Esta es la respuesta más corta que vamos a dar. We don't say just yes, no. Si nosotros decimos simplemente yes o no, it could be considered as real. Se puede considerar como tosco. Okay? We have to say, oh, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she a manager? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Or no, she's not. Is he a supervisor? Is he a supervisor? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't. No, he's not. The negative form got two different forms. La forma negativa puede decirse de dos maneras. With exception of I am. Con excepción de I am. No, I'm not. ¿Por qué? Porque usted no puede contractar el verbo con el not. En este caso. ¿Ok? El am cannot be contracted with not. Now. Kind of weird, ¿no? Let me explain it in the other form. Déjenme explicárselo de la otra manera, with the structure. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, now. Are you a supervisor? Okay, let's see. This is a question. The basic structure for questions, remember yesterday I was talking to you about basic structures, right? Okay, the basic structures ask me for the verb first. After the verb, we got the subject when making a question. After the subject, we got the complement. And after the complement, we got this little sign here that is called a question mark. El simbolito ese se llama question mark, okay? This little symbol. This is the basic structure for a question. Esta es la estructura más básica para una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Verb, subject, complement, and the question mark. Remember, in English, the question mark just at the end, never at the beginning. Okay? En inglés es una pregunta siempre al final. Never, never, never at the beginning. Questions? Preguntas? No? No. Perfect. Now let's see. This is something that the best way to learn it is through practice. Esto es algo que la mejor manera de aprenderlo es con la práctica. Let's see. Karen. Hello, Karen. You've been too quiet today. Tell me, Karen. Are you married? No. Mm -hmm. Short answer. No, I'm not. No, no, I'm not. Are you single, Karen? Yeah. Karen? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Of course, if you are with your friends, you can say, yeah. Or you can even say, yep. But in this environment, we are going to ask you right now, because it's the exercise, yes, I am. Tell me, tell me, Karen, uh, is your mother at home? ¿Verdad? Is your mother at home? Uh, Is your mom, su mamá? Uh -huh. Is your mom at home en casa? Yes. Yes. She is. She is. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Karen. Sonia. Tell me, Sonia, are you yes. married? No, I'm not. No, she's not. Okay. Are you single? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you with your parents? No, I'm not. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay, let's see. Edwin, Edwin, you have little kids, right? Usted tiene hijo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes or not? Okay. Yes. Are you... Kills, look at me. Are you kills awake? Or are your kills asleep? 
Yes, uh, she is. They are, it's just a lady, just a kid, a girl, solo una niña. She, yes. Okay. Is she, is she asleep? Yes, she is asleep. Yes, she is. Perfect. Short answer, yes, she is. Okay. Is your wife, is your wife awake? Your wife. Mm. No. <laughs> no, no. Okay. Is your wife awake? Está despierta? I not. No, I not. You're not married? No. Oh, cool. That's nice. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, let's see. Thank you very much, Edwin. Thanks. Mauricio. Tell me, Mauricio. Are you married? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. Tell me, is your wife awake? Está despierta. Yes, she is yes. awake. Perfect. Okay. Tell me, Mauricio, do you have kids? ¿Tiene niños? How many? Open your microphone. Yes. One, How many kids uh, do you have? One daughter? One son. One daughter and one son. No. Just Only one son. One son. Oh, okay. Just one How old son. is your kid? How old is your son? Um, 15 años, no sé cómo es. He is 15. Sí, he is 15. Oh. Okay. Sí. He is, you can just say he is 15. Podemos decir de una manera informal, he is 15. But you see, this is very informal. Aquí estamos hablando un poquito informal. So you tell me. Oh, he is 15. Okay, tell me. Is he is he in high school? Is he in high school? Do you know what is high school? Bachillerato? No, es noveno grado. Well, actually, high school. I'm going to clarify something. Me voy a aclarar algo. In the United States, high school is in Estados Unidos, high school comienza en 9, 10 y 11. Ok. She is high school. You? Ok. He is, Jun he is high school. He is in high school. Junior high is 6, 7, 8. La junior high is 6, 7, 8. Es 6, 7 y 8. Ok. Elementary is from 1 to 5. To five. De 1 al 5 es elementary. And preschool is kinder. Okay? So he's okay. in high school. Okay. Tell me, is your kid, is your kid, uh, is your son, is your son at home right now? Yes. He, he is um, home. Okay. You are like, he better be. Más le vale, dice. He better be. Oh, that's a modism. Esta es una expresión, miren. He better be. He better be. That means like, más le vale. Okay? Okay, okay. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Vladimir, tell me, are you married, Vladimir? Yes, I am. I'm happy to ever married. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. He says he's happily married. Él está felizmente casado. Is your wife in front of you? No. <laughs> oh, then you are really happily married. She's watching, she's watching Netflix. Okay. Ah, pues si le creemos, because she's not in front and he's saying that he's happily married. Perfect. Congratulations. Okay. okay. Tell me, Vladimir, how long have you been married? Um, almost 22 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. 22 years. That's a lot. Okay. And tell me, is your wife, uh, is, is your wife sleeping right now? No, I told you she's watching Netflix. Oh, okay, perfect. Oh, she's watching Netflix. And tell me, are you watching Netflix in this moment, Vladimir? No, I'm in class right now. Okay, perfect. In this case, thank you very much, Vladimir. If you notice, 
Vladimir is not using short answer. Él no está usando eh, respuestas cortas. That's why he says, no, I am in class right now. Cuando no usamos la respuesta corta, damos la explicación. ¿Ok? But if you just want to say yes or no, you say yes, I am, no, I'm not, yes, she is, no, she isn't. ¿Ok? Now, let's see, let's see. Miss... Uh, Miss Indiana Obando. Hello. Hello. Tell me, Miss Obando, are you married? Yes, I am married. Oh. Okay. What's your husband's name? Who? What is his name? ¿Cómo se llama? Um, Abril. Ixel Abril y no, Indiana your Guadalupe. Husband. Your husband, su esposo. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Medardo Antonio Gómez Corado. Ok. So, he is Mr. Gómez. Is Mr. Gómez at home right now? ¿Está el señor Gómez en casa? Yes. Yes, he is. He is. Okay. Yes, he is. Or if not, you tell me, no, he isn't. Okay. Tell me, Indiana, is your daughter, Indiana, in class? Yes, I am. No, she's not, no, yes. not your daughter, su hija. No, she's not in class right now. En este momento, right now, she's not in class. Um, Se nos ha escapado. So you tell her off. Ahí me la regaña. Okay. Oh, by the way. Tell off. Eso es regañar. Tell off. Thank you. Thank, no, thanks to you, Indiana. Tell off, that's regañar. Okay. Okay, guys. If you, as you can see, it's very simple. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Please practice those expressions because tomorrow I'm going to throw questions out to you. Mañana le voy a hacer muchas preguntas related to your family and related to your job. Just no questions, okay? And related to your classmates, okay? Y aún acerca de sus compañeros. You are going to work in groups. I'm going to set some questions for you, and you, we are going to talk about it. Okay, uh, we still got a couple of minutes. Todavía tenemos unos minutos, but before we, antes que pase otra cosa, because I need to take the attendance also, uh, let me just check something with you. Se les envió este día el enlace para la reunión, ¿verdad? Para aquellos que están que tengo programados para las sesiones 1 a 1. ¿Qué son las sesiones 1 a 1? Son sesiones, perdón que les explique en español, pero para que nos quede claro. I'm sorry, my, or my throat. Sesiones 1 a 1 son aquellas que tenemos nosotros. Yo le dedico 10 minutos específicamente a una persona en la cual aclaro dudas, algo que haya quedado no entendido en la clase, alguna duda de otro tema que no hemos tocado en clase, algo que no comprendió la pronunciación. Para cualquiera de esas cosas es la sesión 1 a 1. Yo tengo normalmente programados todos los miércoles de 10 a 11 de la noche. Yo voy a pasar conectado en el otro enlace que les aparece ahí. Este, yo voy a pasar conectado toda esa hora atendiendo. Tengo programadas 5 personas. Quiere decir que tengo todavía de las 10.50 a las 11 de la noche. Tengo espacio libre. Por si alguien quiere repetirse, no problem. Si tiene una duda muy grande, no problem. If you are still awake, si todavía estás despierto, and you want to talk, practice English, quiere hablar o practicar algo, you can connect, no problem, ¿ok? Ahora bien, this day, today I have Vladimir, Antonia Elizabeth, I got Amparo Yajaira, and I got Hugo Ernesto, and Walter Josué. Ok, Vladimir, due to personal situations, Vladimir, por una cuestión personal, you are not 
right, Vladimir? Ok, Vladimir, right. espacio. si alguien quiere, alguno de los acá presentes quiere tomar ese espacio, you can raise your hand. Eh, tengo libre de las 10 a las 10 con 10. Que son los primeros 10 minutos. Who? ¿Quién me levanta la mano? ¿Quién lo quiere? Susana, ok, Susana. Susana, tan pronto terminamos esta sesión, abro la otra y nos conectamos ahí. Ok, solo déjenme pasar la asistencia rapidito, guys. Eh, Vladimir Antonio. Present. Antonio Elizabeth. She's here. Amparo Yajaira. Here. Hugo Ernesto. Present. Walter Josué. Present. Ruiz Karen Alejandra Flores. Present. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Eh, Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present. Man, I could swear. Podría jurar que tuve a Yanira, right? Ok, 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 ok. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. Eh, Evelyn Patricia Caballero. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo. Present. Walter Emerson Piche. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro. Present. Indiana de Jesús Obando. Somewhere around. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández. Present. Roxana Claribel Trejos. Sandra Yanira Moreno. Present. Edwin Daniel Sevillano. Present. Indiana María Doña, no here. Walter Alexander Arana. Present. Ok, perfect. And Ivania is somewhere around. Ok, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Eh, ok, I'm disconnecting. La veo en el próximo, Susana, y los demás se conectan por ahí. And ahora lo voy a estar esperando. Bye bye, see you tomorrow. Bye bye, bye. bye. good night.